don't care what you say. Don't believe it. Don't believe it. The people wearing purple, them Hebrew Israelites, them black Hebrew Israelites, don't believe it. I went toe to toe with the Hebrew Israelites, a whole bunch of them today. I went toe to toe with all of them. They was right down the street from my house. Having a bullshit class. Dark skinned Hebrew Israelites, the purple shirts, don't believe them. They don't even believe woman is God. They judged me, called me a baby daddy. You're just a baby daddy. Y'all can't make change. He, they, all they do is judge and they read from the Bible. They believe, they don't even believe woman is God. They don't believe nothing but the Bible. Don't believe it. They not for us. They not for us. And if you don't believe me, I got clips, dog. I got clips. You know what? Casting down imagination. So why is the imagination and in, in our people? I'm glad you said that. Because what I tell my people is our imagination has been destroyed as youth. So the imagination is our power. But losing our imagination through disbelief, through like the people telling you that you can't do this or you can't do that is where you lose your power. What, what's our power though? Our power is, our power is through the universe, is through imagination, is through just believing that you can do what you want to do. Once you lose your free will, then you lose your power. Okay. Huh? I'm saying once you lose your free will, you lose your power. According to the Bible, this is what our power is. This is, the thing is, we have, our, we have many of our people who are inventors. We have many of our people who are, who are Israelite great, brothers out here talking to me, man. This is the power that we lost. And we lost this power because of disobedience. Watch this. It's the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave this thee, thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee. So he said he was going to forgive us in the land of our captivity, right? Because our ancestors was brought here on what? On the ships. Okay, so if they were brought here on the ship and we were born here, is we still in the land of our captivity? No, but see, that's the, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I'm not a full believer that everybody came on ships because we was always here. So we was always here, not everybody came on ships, so there has to be something else deeper than that. Well, no, because you got to remember, the, yeah. you celebrate Christmas? I stopped. I didn't celebrate this Thanksgiving. I can't do that no you more. You remember what the officers say, a stronghold? That's a stronghold for Yeah. You celebrate 4th of July? Not no more. I, I don't celebrate these holidays. All that stuff, I got to stop but, that. So now you got to celebrate the holiday that God said we got to celebrate in the Bible. Oh, best believe I'm going to have more parts to this because they wilding out. They not it. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren. You fellow believers of this faith and shalom to the elect. Uh, I'm going to try to make this a quick video. This uh, Jake um, here is going and saying that the uh, black woman is God, which we went over this time and time again. But, you know, I just want to show um, the mindset of our people and, and what they think. And the reason why we are in this condition that we're in is because of this behavior and then I want to go on some so-called science to prove it as well that man and woman were never created equal and these men these men are the ones who really pushed the queen of heaven you know it's kind of strange that these men these grown men can uplift the race of women and claim that they're superior than other women, white women, Chinese women, or other women, which our women can look like those other nations. I find it strange. And there's no backlash on these men saying the black woman is God. There's no arguments, there's no fight. But when we say as a nation, we're more superior than other nations, like men being more superior to other men, Seems to be an outcry about that. Just saying, it's it's strange. It's, it's almost like they have an issue with us because we're definitely telling the truth about nations. But as long as we keep uplifting the black woman, that's not an issue because that's what's 
further destroying us. When you really look at feminism, and that's what I want to also want to do this video about, I'm noticing it's the men, like uh, Serenetta, um, Brother Reggie, Natural Tahuti, and various others. Those are just a, a spawn of, a, of, of different doctrines uh, spawned off of Egyptology. So it's a whole lot of these doctrines in the push for the woman being God. Now, what would, what would make a man a strong man, you know, full of testosterone, at least I would think so, big and strong, will want to put the weaker vessel over him. Unless these agendas that they're pushing, they're using these guys to do it. We see it in music. We see it in television. So that it's like a funded agenda that these guys are not really playing a character like they say they are. Anyway, let's go to 1 Corinthians 11, verse 8. It says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman for the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So the Bible is not lying. All those years. Now, where was this guy also when I was young, or guys like this that have now woken up to their Egypt uh, philosophies? Where was these guys going to the churches and saying, hey, think for yourself, come out of the Bible? Because if you followed what actually went into that Bible, those words that's in that book, the words of the Most High, then we wouldn't be going off, right? But we see the Most High doesn't want them, uh, these people to get it. But I want to go into some a little bit of science. I want to go a little bit of science. Because what makes a man a man is his testicles, his testosterone, okay? Now this is, this is uh, science, which this part of science is proven to be true. Because the life is in the blood, they understand the um the, what they call the the blood panel, and you know the chemical makeup of DNA and what's in your system through your blood of how everything is functioning. If your kidneys or liver, you know your heart even give off bad enzymes, or what levels should they be according to a good operating you know, system. So you see here, a normal measurement for tests for male testosterone is 300 to 1,000 nanograms per deciliter, right? Or 10 to 35 nanomoles per liter. So we'll say here, nanograms per deciliter, 300 to 1,000. If you get under 300, you need to uh, do things to get your testosterone up, right? That that's responsible for muscle growth, you know, tissue, sexual function, you know, hair. It's it's life in the man. It's the, the hormone that's life in a man, okay? So when we go down here to a female, it says fifteen to seventy nanograms per deciliter, or 0 0.5 to 0 0.24. So you can see the big difference in the hormone changes as a woman in her uterus will and I'm not trying to make this a science lesson but just to show you in a, not uterus or ovaries whatever will uh, create a similar testosterone reaction but she would have more estrogen so you can see the chemical balance the differences so now I just want to go back if the black woman is God right why is she created as the stronger vessel now when you go to this word God in the online etymology it says uh, to be a supreme being right supreme being so when you go into this word supreme it means the highest and this is what these guys believe 
for whatever reason, they believe that um, the woman was created first and then all of a sudden we received our male anatomy later. <laughs> when it would seem more likely that the male would have his first and then the woman. Isaiah 29, 16, they turn everything upside down as esteem is a part of clay. Right? They esteem the woman as God's. And the Most High will give them that power. These people didn't worship gods because they didn't have any power. These gods would have power in order for them to be worshipped. Now he would tell the children of Israel they are nothing. But you see what happened in Egypt with Moses and the staff and their sorceress. Jeremiah 44 and 17. And this is in another translation. Instead, what we do, it says, as for the word you have spoken to us in the name of the Lord, talking about Jeremiah, we will not listen to you. Instead, we will do everything we vow to do. We will burn incense to the queen of heaven and offer drink offerings to her, just as we, our fathers, our kings, and our officials did in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem. So you can clearly see why the Lord was mad at the children of Israel and why you have those people in that land even to today. At this time, we had plenty of food, which in the translate, regular translation it says victuals, which means kind of like luxuries. We had pretty of, plenty of food and good things, and we saw no disaster. But from the time we stopped burning incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings to her, right? We have lacked everything. And this is what's happening, right? Jake is going to jump back on board with the queen of heaven. That's what he's doing. Because when he tried to stand up on his own, he started catching more hell, right? It's harder for him to get a woman standing up on his own. But when he bows down on his knees and, and prays this woman, then he can get a little comfort with her. She might even buy him a happy meal. <laughs> it says, moreover said the woman, when we burn incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings to her, was it without our husbands? Okay, knowledge that we made sacrificial cakes in her image and poured out drink offerings to her with a question mark. Then Jeremiah said to all the people, both men and women, notice how I say men and women, who were answering him, as for the incense and the burn, uh, and you burned in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, you, your fathers, your kings and officials, and the people in the land, did the Lord not remember and bring thee to mind? So the Lord can, uh, could no longer endure the evil deeds and detestable acts you committed, and your land became desolate, a horror, and an object of cursing within, without inhabitant, as if this day, right? So we see how these people took those people out of the other land, right? And uh, the land was, you know, you had inhabitants there, but the Lord uh, broke, broke, you know, our heritage. Sent us to Egypt, came out of there, broke up Egypt, and he's going to destroy Babylon, aka America, right? So I just found it interesting, um, just going by science and the true understanding, you know, knowledge. Well, we go by the Bible, number one, it says what it is, but when you go deeper into science, so, so called, you know, that's why Timothy says science so called, you see that it's legitimate, that the Bible is legitimate and correct. This is how they know. I mean, this is how we, they was able to put it together. Don't believe that science don't know some things that they may have found out from the scriptures. But this man here, he claims he, um, we just believe in the Bible. 
when you look in the Bible, what is it saying wrong when it comes to what we should be doing as far as our dietary, as far as uh, adultery, right? As far as murder, deception, you know, uh, abominations, worship of other gods. What is it saying wrong? It's because these Jakes want to continue in sin. That's the key I wanted to get to. Us telling them, you got to stop, stop celebrating all the madness that's going on. You got to stop committing adultery. You got to turn away from uh, smoking the, the, a lot of that carcinogens. You got to turn away from the adultery, the, the, the wickedness, the prostitution of other gods. Right? The gang banging. This is where they're having a problem. They don't have a problem with us. They have a problem with what we say when it comes to the scriptures. They have a problem with the Most High saying. That's all I have on that show.